Throughout the video we will remove many different screws. These screws can vary in size and must go back into the location that they came from. It is recommended to organize the screws in a way that you will remember where they go. The first step is to power off the phone. Next, we will remove the two pentalobe screws on the bottom of the phone. Apply the suction cup to the bottom half of the screen just above the home button. Pull firmly using the ring attached to the suction cup. The screen should begin to lift slowly. If needed, you can use the plastic pry tool to help remove the screen from the case. Do not pull the screen completely from the case as there are a few ribbon cables that will need to be disconnected first. Remove the two Phillips screws and metal cover for the battery cable. Disconnect the battery cable using the spudger. Remove the five Phillips screws and metal cover for the screen ribbon cables. Using the spudger, disconnect the four ribbon cables. Remove the two screws and the vibration motor. Remove the four screws and the speaker. Gently pry the speaker from the phone. Remove the two screws and the grounding bracket.
Remove these seven screws and the charging slash headphone port assembly. Using the spudger, gently begin prying up the ribbon cable and charging port assembly. Your replacement charging port assembly will have several adhesive backings on it. Remove all of them except for the one by the connector. Slide the assembly down into place and make sure the charging port and headphone jack are aligned with the holes in the phone. Press on the large ribbon cable to adhere it to the phone. Press the microphone into place. Reinsert the seven screws that hold the charging port assembly into place.
Reinstall the grounding bracket and its two screws. Reinstall the vibration motor and the two screws that hold it in place. Reinstall the speaker and its four screws. Insert the antenna cable into the bracket on the speaker. Remove the last adhesive back from the ribbon cable. Plug in the connector and adhere it, the cable to the speaker. Plug the antenna cable into the logic board. Connect the four ribbon cables on the replacement screen to the phone. Reinstall the metal cover and five screws over the ribbon cables. Reconnect the battery cable. Reinstall the metal cover and two screws over the battery cable. Using your fingers, press the screen firmly back together with the phone case. Reinstall the two pentalobe screws on the bottom of the phone. 